What's up guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, I'm here to bring you a video about Plotter Depot's software Film Cut Pro. I did a video on their Film Cut before, haven't been able to do this one yet until now, so pretty excited to bring this one to you. This one brings some other cool tools and features to it that Film Cut doesn't have. Film Cut's a great software. Uh, definitely check that uh, video out, but uh, if you're kind of on the fence about what software, which one to choose, Hopefully this helps uh, after you can, you know, maybe see both videos. But uh, I'm gonna switch you over to my computer and we'll go over a few things, just kind of give you an introduction. We'll go from there. Okay, so this is a freshly opened Film Cut Pro. So a couple of quick notes that I'll kind of touch on uh, that's gonna be kind of most important. Um, this is literally the first open page. This is your work board here which would be considered maybe, you know, your, this, this red line kind of signifies that's about how wide your, your plotter is and that, and it, it doesn't even matter as far as that's concerned. But anyways, let's look up a new pattern. So pretty easy, big button over here, open pattern from database, has a full database full of years, makes and models. Uh, I forget how many thousands of patterns, 100,000, 90,000 something, tons of patterns and they're always changing and updating and adding. So. Uh, it's a full array. It also has, it also includes the PPF. We'll get into future videos on that. Right now we're just looking at uh, tin patterns. So let's pick a Hyundai, which you can see I already have pulled up, but we'll start from scratch. So I'm working on a Hyundai Sonata. It's a four door. So you see all these other things in here. I have my PPF turned on. Uh, so based on that, you're gonna get a lot of other selections. You're not looking to drill it down to an SEL or a sport. When it comes to tint patterns, note, you're basically looking for the, the basic four-door sedan. F-150 is another one that's got a whole bunch of stuff. You're looking for uh, crew cab, single cab, super crew, uh, so the basis. So not too bad. Uh, let's say it's a 2020. Now, right here, you got short and you got long patterns. I'm a fan of the short. Long patterns are fantastic. If you're a panel puller or you like to, to bottom load, um, that adds about three eighths of an inch to the bottom of the pattern. So you get uh, well below the lower weather seal uh, or the inner sweep. The short patterns are kind of hit or miss. They're gonna be either, depending on your gaps on the top or how much of a gap you put on the top, you're either gonna be right above the lower sweep or right at it, or you might be you know, an eighth of an inch or I've had a couple even a little bit more than that, quarter of an inch so below uh, the lower gasket, but regardless, uh, the short patterns are for guys like me who like to two-stage or what they say, top load. So we double click that, that's the patterns we want. There it is. Um, the front pockets, front doors, they're laid out driver side, passenger side, they're already in a, uh, they pre-set uh, the patterns in a, fashion, in a fashion that if you just wanna select every one of these patterns, boom, and you go up and click cut, it'll cut that from, from, from the front to the back, or you can select individual patterns. Um, now, this is a, what they call nesting. Um, so you're able to take these patterns and move them. I'm redoing, let's just say, a passenger door for some reason, and this back little quarter, I can put it up here, I can click on it, maximize my film, I'll give it a spin, I like it there, move it closer to the door, and bam, I've just maximized my film. So cool feature there, um, not something the, uh, the other software doesn't have, but um, just kind of cool. Now the biggest thing to this uh, that I wanted to show is if you're a flat glass installer, this is a good option. Um, reason being, so right here I can select this standard square, right? And then up here I'm gonna untick the um, aspect ratio lock so that I can separate these. So let's say I have uh, let's say I have a front door to do that's got two side light windows uh, and they measure eight inches wide by 60 inches tall. Um, so I'm able to put 60, enter, and eight, enter, and there it is. So obviously you're gonna add an inch because you know flat glass, you guys already know you're, gonna, you're not gonna cut it precise, you end up with light gaps, but if it was a 60 by eight window, you'd cut maybe a 61 by nine, 
uh, and that the software allows you to do that. So pretty cool. Um, a couple things that I'll note that I won't go over in this video, but you have the ability to edit uh, patterns for vehicles if you want the door to drop a little lower. Um, I can, you know, I'll, I'll produce videos kind of going through some how to's and tutorials on stuff like that. But the biggest takeaway from this software is that it allows you to do flat glass. And that's pretty much the biggest aha about the Film Cut Pro and the manipulation of the patterns if, if that's your gig. So this is really just trying to introduce you to it and get you up to par with it. But that's, that's the biggest point. And another thing, I do a little bit of vinyl work in uh, my shop, so it's really kind of cool. You can also cut that out on your plotter if you're a vinyl person, so cool things, really cool things. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, there's a lot more capabilities to the software and I'm just not trying to make this that video. I'm really just trying to help you decide what is the biggest difference uh, between the two softwares that PlotterDepot.com offers the Film Cut and the Film Cut Pro. I did a video again on the Film Cut. Definitely check that out if you're just a, a tint shop and you're looking to get great patterns, lots of coverage, and something really, really simple to use. Check it out. Great, great software. Um, if you're a flat glass guy or thinking about going into flat glass or want a little bit more uh, capabilities to the software, then you might want to check out this Film Cut Pro. It gives you the ability to do flat cut uh, French panes, for example, if you know uh, the little squares all over uh, the, the pane windows that's, uh, you know, a 28 by 28 window, but it's got, you know, nine squares in it because it's a French pane. It can be a pain in the butt, but, you know, software like that, you can preload that, hit cut, and it'll cut those squares out for you right from your plotter getting you ready for the job. So. Two good options, I, I can't say one's better. They both bring a lot of great stuff to the table, um, but like I said, Film Cut Pro leans a little bit more outside the box. It's got full tin, full PPF, so you're covered there, but it's also got the ability to manipulate vehicle patterns if you wanna adjust the door a little bit, if you wanna you know, make the door a little bit longer on the bottom, you can even um, build custom sun strips with it. I'll go into all kinds of t uh, tutorial videos here soon. We'll start uploading those, but hey, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to introduce you to it. Check them both out. Ask questions if you need them. Plotterdepot.com, they're there to help. Reach out to me if needed. Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Thanks for watching.